This is going to be our first video where we start talking about logs. This is just an intro to logs, so if you already know what logs are, you can skip ahead to the next few videos. Uh, if you go to the end of the video, a box will pop up, you can click on that. If you want to look at some of the harder videos like the rules and uh, exam questions. Anyway, the intro. Um, so before we're looking at indices questions like 2 to the power of x is equal to 4. Uh, and we have to solve for x. So what you do there is you say 2 to the power of x is equal to, and you change 4 to a number with base 2. So it's going to be 2 squared. And that means that x then, handy enough, is equal to 2. So that's all well and good, but what if, for example, we have a bit of a harder question. If we have something like 2 to the power of x is equal to, nope, sorry, is equal to 17. Okay, so 2 squared is equal to 4, 2 cubed is equal to 8, 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16, and 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32. So it's going to be somewhere in between these two. So how do we find it? So you can either try with trial and error, try 4.1, then 4.2, and keep going until you find 17, uh, but it'll take you a long time. So the quicker way is with logs. So, so I'll use a different example to show exactly what logs are. So if we have two cubed is equal to eight, so that's one way of writing it. Another way of writing it would be log two of eight, is equal to three. Okay, so they're the same thing, just written in two different ways. This is in log form, and that's in power form or indices form. Um, so I'll explain exactly what it means. So um, just first, some things you have to spot. Uh, go orange. So the bottom number in the bottom there, that two, that's called the base number. And um, so you always have to specify a base with logs. So what number is in the bottom of it? Uh, the other things are just kind of like that's that's the log itself. The other ones are just numbers. But anyway, that's just gonna brief intro. So we're gonna look at what it means is if we have log base two of eight is equal to three, then I'll go dark blue. That means that two to the power of three is equal to eight, okay? So I'll say to the power, and that's equals. So this is the rule you always have to think of if they ask you uh, do anything with the logs. It's always two to the power of three is equal to eight. So that's why it basically means the same thing as the above, you just rearranged it. So then if you're asking why is that useful, uh, we'll look at this example here. So two to the power of x is equal to 17. So I'm gonna write that here. Two to the power of x is equal to 17. If we wanna write that in log form, we're gonna find that log base two of 17 is equal to x. So to figure that out, you have to kind of do a little bit of rearranging in your head, and you figure out that x to the power of two is equal to 17. So if you stick this into your calculator now, you can find the answer for x. So that's where it's useful, basically, you can find exponents. So if uh, x is a power up at the top, kind of, then you can use logs to find it. So your answer, if you stick it into the calculator anyway, is gonna be 4.087, and it's gonna keep going. So it's something you basically couldn't do uh, by trial and error, it just take too long. So that's basically why logs are useful. And the next few videos, we're gonna start looking at the rules and how exactly to use them. So the main point from that video is this little thing here, that it's the bottom number here to the power of this equals that. So that's basically what a log means, and it's used to get unknown powers down. Okay, uh, we'll see in the next video we start talking about more rules, so it's gonna get slowly more advanced.